Uh, the hydrometer. What the heck is this silly thing? Okay, uh, it's something for comparing the density of liquids to the density of water. That's really all it is. There's a scale on the top of that thing. Uh, let me see if I can get that a little closer. Okay, you can see the one on there and there's beer underneath. Okay, that's comparing. Everything is compared to distilled water, pure water. And so, if you get one of these things and you go to test it, and you should test these before you get them because you don't know for sure if they work, uh, it should go to one. I mean, the silly thing is kind of simple. It's uh, lead weights in the bottom, uh, glass thing. The farther it goes down, the more water it displaces. So it's simply comparing the liquid it's in to water. There's really not much else to it. It's a little more complicated when we are determining alcohol by volume in beer. Okay, here we've got it in a water column to test it. And it's showing, if you look at the capillary reaction, that's where the water kind of climbs up the side of that thing. Uh, it shows a little less than 1.00. But you're supposed to ignore that because that's capillary action by the water. You're actually looking at the actual level of the water ignoring that little climb up piece. So when you test this it should come to 1.00 without the capillary action. And this one does. So it's pretty much right on the money. So how do we use this thing to determine alcohol by volume in beer. Well, it's a little more complicated. When you start mixing sugar in water and all the rest of the hops and all those sort of things that you have in your wort boil, it's going to come up with a number that is higher than at 1.0 because there's a lot of things in it. There's sugar in it, there's hops in it, there's all sorts of things. Those are going to increase the specific gravity of the water. So it's going to be higher. Many times it'll be something like 1.055 or something like that. Okay, that you need to take that measurement of the wort before you ferment. Because you're going to compare that later and you're going to compare it to what it is after the fermentation has happened. So let's take a look at something that already has been, it's been boiled, it's warped, it's ready for fermentation. Also, when you're checking wort, you have to observe the temperature of the wort because these things are figured for about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And so you may have to make adjustments, and there's a little chart that comes with this silly thing, to make some adjustments for higher temperatures of the wart. I've drawn some of the wart out. Of course, it's too warm to take the specific gravity reading, so I had to cool it down quite a bit. It's about 72 degrees, so I have to do some corrections for it. But let's take a look at what our reading is. Now if we notice that, we look at, it says uh, 0, 0.50, 0, but the level's just a little bit below that. We don't want to go where it goes up the side of the gravity meter. So I'm going to call that 0, 0.52. And my temperature is about 74, 
So I'm going to add about three thousandths to that. So three thousandths plus the 0 0.52 is 0 0.55. Okay, what we're supposed to have is 0 0.56. So I'm calling this good. Now remember, this is a pre-boil specific gravity. Now you may be wondering where I got the, the temperature adjustment. The temperature adjustment actually comes on a little sheet of paper with the uh, uh, hydrometer. So you can actually do that fairly simply. Now the next video I'm going to talk about the comparison and how you determine what the actual uh, alcohol by volume is.